with that, I'll be glad to take any questions at the West Bank. Thank you, Mr. Um, well, I think we'll, we'll have opportunity to talk about politics over the coming weeks and months. I, I'm here to do state work. I'd prefer to keep the tone of, of this on that. Yeah? Um, what are your thoughts on Bruce Folding brought up on criminal charges? I mean, I, I, a couple of things. First of all, um, you know, not a single taxpayer dollar went to that project uh, because the uh, as far as state taxpayer dollars because the company failed to meet uh, requirements for job creation. Uh, and I think that uh, uh, the charges filed by the Attorney General will uh, uh, will hold the individual involved accountable for those acts. Governor, Chris Coster said that there wasn't due diligence in that project. Is that a fair criticism of the administration? I'm not sure who General Coster was referring to in that process. As I said before, I mean, our, our uh, um, you know, uh, from the state side of that, uh, as far as resources, uh, not a single penny of, uh, of uh, state tax dollars were expended there, um, and you know because they didn't meet the job requirements. I, I think the justice system will deal with the, the appropriate penalties, uh, and I wouldn't want to make any further comments until that process is completed. Anything on status of bringing a new company into that building? Uh, uh, you'd have to talk to somebody up in uh, up in that region. Last question. Yeah. Lastly, with the debate tomorrow, what do you think about Spence using the man tech fossil as fuel on the campaign trail? He's, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Uh, Spence is using the man tech debacle as fuel on the campaign trail. Any thoughts on that? As I said before, this uh, the the series of uh, of uh, economic incentives that the state has for projects of that nature don't pay a penny unless there's jobs created. Uh, so Missouri taxpayers uh, did not, uh, state taxpayers did, didn't, didn't uh, uh, warrant out a, a penny there. Um, and uh, I don't, uh, uh, I mean, we've had a really good week, you know? <laughs> no, I mean, seriously. I mean, last month the jobs report came out for our entire country. It said we had 97,000 jobs from one coast to the other. Our state jobs report came out this week and showed we added 17,900 of those jobs right here in the Show Me State. Okay? <laughs> those are the kind of solid steps forward that we focus on, making sure that we're keeping that uh, unemployment rate uh, below the national average, which it has been now for 36 months in a row, uh, working to make the connection between education and, and career opportunities the way we're doing right here today, uh, and making sure that we're providing opportunities uh, for students that want to work hard and play by the rules uh, to, to increase their economic power. And that's exactly what this school does. That's why we're here today. That's why we'll continue to press these, these important issues across our state. Thank you all.